Hey there, it's Susie, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, and I'm here to show you how to color in a digital stamp or a doodle. I'm going to use the graduation cap from Achievement the Add-on for my tutorial today. My sister's graduation colors are maroon and gold. The hat's maroon, and the tassel's gold, and so these hats won't work. So I'm going to use this digital stamp to create one that will match her school colors. So the first thing we want to do is pull in our digital stamp into our program. I'm using Photoshop Elements 9 for this tutorial, but it also works on earlier versions of Elements as well as in Photoshop CS. First thing we want to do is rename our file. We don't want to overwrite the original, so we'll go to File Save As or Shift Control S and just rename it. I'm going to do so by adding my sister's name to the end of the file name. And then now I need some colors to match her hat. So I have a picture of her in her school colors. I'm just going to use my eyedropper tool right here to select kind of a reddish color from her shirt that I can use for the main color of the hat. Then I'll go back to the hat by double clicking on that icon right there. Grab the magic wand tool and I want to select this main area of the hat in these two areas. By default, it's usually set to just select, and then if you select somewhere else, it's going to only select one area. But if we choose the Add to Selection option, we can then click inside here in these two places, and it will add each of those selections to our main selection for recoloring the hat. Let me zoom in so you can see it doesn't quite follow the black line, and you're going to end up with these little gaps that don't have any color so the easiest way to fix that is to expand our selection by going to select modify expand and we don't have to expand it very big just so it overlaps a little bit of that black line I usually do two to three pixels so we'll do two and hit OK and it just barely expanded it and then we want to create a new layer underneath our hat because it's overlapping that black line. So if you hold control and click on the new layer icon in your palette, you'll get a new layer below the digital stamp. And to fill it, you can either go edit, fill selection, or we'll use the foreground color and hit OK, or you could hit alt backspace. And now we no longer need the selection, we can go to select deselect or hit control D. So now we've got these main areas of the hat in the red. I want to make the button and the edges slightly darker. So I'm going to click on my foreground color and just choose a color that's below and to the right so that it's darker. Click OK. Then I need to make sure that my digital stamp layer is active. And I'm going to click inside the areas that I want to be darker red. And then I'm going to modify that selection again by going to select modify expand expand it by two pixels and again a new layer below control and then the new layer icon and then alt backspace to fill or edit fill selection and control D to deselect or select and deselect so now I have my hat that's red and I want to make the tassel gold so I'm going to double click on this picture of my sister and grab my eyedropper tool again and choose a yellow color from her shirt. Double click back on the stamp that I'm working on. Make sure my digital stamp layer is active. Choose my wand either by clicking on it or hitting the shortcut key W. Select these three areas that I want to be gold. Expand the selection by going to select, modify, expand and then another new layer underneath control while you click on the new layer icon and then alt backspace to fill and control D to deselect and now I have a hat that matches my sister's graduation cap so you could save this as a layered file by hitting control S and leaving this as a PSD if you want to be able to modify those layers later if you just want it to be a PNG then go ahead and click on the ping option and then double click on the one that you created earlier and you can overwrite it. And now we have our new digital stamp and we still have the unaltered digital stamp in case we want to use it for another project. 
And this obviously will work with any other digital stamp. So have some fun, recolor those graduation caps or any other digital stamp that you have to match your layouts. Thanks.